cities. Reminds me of what they did a few years ago, if you don't remember, when they rolled out the Arch of Baal, the Arch from the Temple of Baal, which they put where it really belongs, right in front of the White House in Washington, D.C. And then, of course, they brought it where else? It was in London. It was in New York City. The Arch of Baal was popping up all over back in 2016, right around the time that Donald Trump was put in office. And now, in the year 2024, while Donald Trump is supposedly running for office again, we're seeing portals popping up all around us. In the Bible, in Hosea chapter 4, verse 6, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge because thou hast rejected knowledge. Okay, let me make it clear if you don't understand this. This thing on the screen, look, anything at least a little bit similar to these portals that they're showing you that are supposedly art in New York City and Philadelphia, this right here is called CERN. If you're not familiar with CERN, I'll get into it in more detail later in the video. But this is what we call CERN in the Hadron Collider at CERN. Now, if you pay attention to what you're seeing, you would say, well, that looks a lot like these weird portals that are popping up. Well, what, what is the correlation? What are they doing with that looking portal thingy that they have over at CERN? Well, they're telling you that they're trying to open up a black hole. They're telling you that they're conjuring up energy to sound like magic, to sound like witchcraft, in order to study the universe. That's what they're telling you, of course, so that you don't realize that this is a spiritual war. And that you actually think that science has nothing to do with magic. And with what they're actually trying to do isn't anything that's a crime against humanity or bringing over what's on the other side. That it's all just science stuff that you don't get. Go back to playing Pokemon Go on your phone and stop listening to conspiracy theories, right? But we all need to take a look at the signs of the times. Matthew chapter 16, verses 2 through 3, what does Jesus tell the Pharisees? You know how to interpret the weather signs in the sky, but you don't know how to interpret the signs of the times. In Revelation chapter 16, verse 15, Blessed is he who watches and keeps his garments, lest he walk naked and they see his shape. Pay attention to the events that are going on in the world. Do not partake in them, but pay attention to the signs and the times. This is what's airing on local news in Philadelphia. And the sheep will show up. They have zero idea because let's be real. The majority of people living in this world don't have the slightest clue about anything that's actually going on. Starting today, you'll be able to look straight into a different city without even leaving Philadelphia. There it is. You may have seen the portal in New York City. It'll link the city of brotherly love to another city somewhere in the world through a real-time live stream. Let's get right to NBC 10. Siobhan the girl live at Love Park. Siobhan, there's already a little bit of a problem with it, though. Aaron, part of the round screen here has a crack in it, but organizers say it will not stop them from turning this portal on today. It's tough to see the crack right now. We took some video over yesterday, you can see in daylight. Our news partner at KYW News Radio, they spoke to a city official who confirmed the crack is not from vandalism and it will not delay the portal's Philadelphia launch. That means soon this sculpture will connect people here in Love Park. Somewhere in the world, it's 